Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I have some important announcements to make prior to the beginning of our program. Everyone should be seated at this time. Appropriate social physical distancing should be maintained at all times this evening, except for family clusters. All persons should wear a mask at all times, except when staged photographs are being taken or a speech is being given. If you plan to take pictures, please listen carefully to those, these procedures. No parent or family member photographers are allowed in the front of the stage area at any time during the processional, the program, or the recessional. An exception will be made for parents to come down from the seating area to the space in front of the stage area during the diploma presentation section of our program during their child's diploma presentation. Therefore, during this time, please be observant and courteous to the movement of our graduates and other photographers. Thank you for your cooperation. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please stand? Please stand and please welcome with me the Kyungi Suwon International School graduating class of 2020.
Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, amidst the panic and fear due to the pandemic, we thank you for protecting the seniors, families, and, and all faculty and staff members. We give you all the praise and glory for bringing us together in celebrating the seniors' proud achievement. Lord, you looked over and guided the seniors' lives to this day. We give thanks to your grace as they graduate from GSIs today. Please continue to remember the seniors who worked harder than anything in their studies and many activities. We ask you to continue to fill their lives with an abundant amount of blessings. We pray that you will also remember the faculty and STEM members' efforts in educating and supporting the students with their passionate prayers. Also, please remember all the parents' devotion and love that were put into supporting the students' futures. Please provide safety and health to our seniors who will now spread to many different places despite the uncertain situation regarding COVID-19. We pray that they will revere and trust you in guiding their paths and continue to live in faith as they head out as adults. Wherever they are off to, we pray that the students will hold GSIS mission statement close to their hearts to continuously strive to be internationally minded learners who lead and serve for the glory of God. We give thanks to you in recognizing the PTA, the faculty, and STEM members who made today's graduation possible. We trust that we will ensure that the graduation will successfully go on as planned. We give all the glory to you in Jesus' name. Amen. You may be seated. I would like to officially welcome the Kyunggi Suwon International School graduating class of 2020 to our ninth annual commencement ceremony. I would like to welcome everyone here to a very historic event this evening. The in-person or face-to-face -face graduation ceremony at GSIS for the class of 2020 was at many times it seemed an unreachable dream. We are celebrating together the graduation of the first class in the history of GSIS to receive almost a semester of their education virtually. The first graduating, the first graduation of an IBDP class, IB diploma class, to graduate without taking a single IB diploma examination. The first graduating class in the history of GSI has to not take a culminative face-to-face -face assessment at the end of the semester. Yet tonight, the faculty and I have every confidence that this graduating class will perform at the same or higher level than previous cohorts when they return to learning at their next school. They are ready for the future, or as we like to say, they are future ready. Tonight, we will reflect, celebrate, and give thanks. Tonight, we honor every member of the historic and unforgettable class of 2020. I would like to begin the program by introducing our platform seated participants, starting from my far left on the front stage. And I would like uh, to thank Mr. Myung Hee Nam, parent of a student in the class of 2020, for giving our a wonderful, beautiful invocation prayer tonight. And next to him is Dr. E. J. He or J. He Lee, founding member of the Taejong Christian International School Foundation. Besides uh, Dr. J. He Lee is Dr. Sang Tech Lee, founding chairman of Hyosan International Education Foundation and chief director of the Hyosan Medical Foundation. Next to Dr. Lee is Ms. Srija Turkey, IB DP and IB MYP English Lang and Lit teacher and chosen by the class of 2020 to be our baccalaureate speaker tonight. To my right on the stage row, front row is Miss Olivia Chun, Chan, IBDP and IBMYP biology teacher and chosen by the class of 2020 to be our commencement speaker this evening. Continuing on to my right, Miss Im Park, 
giving the co-valedictorian speech for the class of 2020, Mr. John Ben Yoon giving the other co-valedictorian speech for the class of 2020, and Ms. Jamie Su giving the salutatorian speech for the class of 2020. On the second stage row to my far left is Mr. Ronnie LaRoche, IBDP and IBMYP design technology teacher, father of a graduate and giving our benediction this evening. Ms. Sung Eun Chang, mother of a graduate in reading our scripture in Korean. Dr. Ryan Delos, secondary school assistant principal and assisting in the diploma presentation. Ms. Risa Kim, IBDP and IBMYP visual arts teacher and in introducing our baccalaureate speaker. And right behind me is Mr. Tony Cartmel, secondary school principal and assisting with the diploma presentation and class recognition. And just to my right on the second stage road is Reverend Joseph Beck, spiritual life minister, Bible teacher, and reading our scripture in English and introducing our commencement speaker. Would also like to welcome a couple of other distinguished guests with us this evening. Please welcome Dr. Wang Young Hee. Dr. Wong is a member of the Hyosan International Education Foundation and honorary president of Hyosan Medical Foundation and the wife of Dr. Sangtek Lee. Dr. Wong, welcome to GSIS. We're privileged to have you here this evening. Welcome. And beside her, I would like to welcome uh, the most wonderful, beautiful lady in the world to me. My wife, Ms. Shirley Penland, served as GSIS MYP coordinator, parent of two TCS alumni, and grandmother of three GSIS students. Shirley, would you please stand and be recognized? I would particularly like to take time to welcome and recognize at this time by asking you to stand and remain standing the following people. Mr. Tony Cartmel, our secondary school principal. Dr. Ryan Delos, our secondary school assistant principal. Ms. Jenny Kim, our IB diploma program coordinator, senior class advisor. Mr. Chuck Prugler, who served the class of 2020 as senior counselor and senior class advisor. And the GSIS high school faculty who taught seniors this year. You taught seniors this year, you stand now. And now all faculty who have taught members of the class of 2020 at any time at GSIS, please stand. Now I would like the rest of the secondary school faculty to stand. Secondary school faculty, please join us. Ms. Michelle Lejoie, elementary school principal, please stand, she's here this evening. And I would like the rest of the elementary faculty attending this evening to also stand at this time and be recognized and thank you for supporting our secondary school. Finally, I would like Mr. Cho Sumbok, Business Affairs Director, to stand. Mr. Cho, there he is over there. Congratulations, Mr. Cho, and all those GSIS support staff who've served our seniors so humbly throughout their time at GSIS, please stand at this time. GSIS staff support. I see you back there. Please stand wherever you are around the different places. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my belief at GSIS that every employee is a teacher at our school. All of these employees have been helping with the education of this senior class. Would you please join me and give a warm up ovation, thanking them for their work with our seniors in an, an, another enormous successful year at GSIS. Please thank them. Thank you. You may be seated. I want to also welcome all of our parents here this evening. Without you, it's not possible to have a school. We have to have you send your children here, and without the children, we don't have school. So thank you for trusting us with your children again this year. Many of you have trusted for a long time into our school and depended on the school, and we thank you for that trust. We don't take it lightly. And we thank you for trusting us to hold this ceremony tonight in a way that's safe for everyone and also a way that brings honor to your children and to your students. And uh, we're thankful that your family can be here. 
We would have loved to have had uh, more people and invited. There were people that wanted to come that couldn't come, and we apologize for that, but we are thankful we've been able to do what we have. I'm thankful for the Parent Teacher Association at GSIS and how it has always supported the school and helped the school. And this year is no exception, and we've had incredible leadership in our PTA president this year, Mrs. Song Soo Young. And uh, if you would stand, Ms. Song, and be recognized, and also our grade 12 parent representative, Ms. Han, Han Kyung Hee. Ms. Song and Ms. Han, I think you're here tonight. Can you stand and please give the PTA leadership a hand? Thank you. Thank you. Finally, a warm welcome to our 11th and 10th grade NHS students, some of whom are serving along with our 11th grade uh, marshals this evening as junior marshals and ushers. And thank you as well to some underclassmen who took their precious time the last few days with their music instructor to create some music videos for the class of 2020 this evening. Class of 2020 seniors, we are so thrilled to be here with you this evening. We did it despite those who said it couldn't be done. All of you are the reason our school exists, and I am most confident tonight that the mission of our school will be seen as you live out your lives leading and serving for the glory of God. To our guests and family members, please enjoy our ceremony. Please observe the courtesies due to a formal ceremony. We will have a formal recessional at the end of the program inclusive of the platform party and distinguished guests. We are not able to provide a proper reception this evening we are due to the COVID-19 restrictions. However, we did share, and I hope you received a small gift umbrella upon your entry to this event tonight. At this time, it is my honor to welcome Dr. Lee Sang-Tech, Chairman of the Hyosan International Education Foundation Board. Dr. Lee Sang-Tech is a man that I respect here in Korea. He's a humble leader who's done an amazing job with the Sam Hospital Group and Hyosan Medical Foundation. And uh, as a Christian leader in our country, uh, he's, he's a man that I respect and admire. He's a great mentor and a great leader. We're grateful to have him here. We're grateful for Hyosan uh, International Education Foundation and for their partnership with GSIS and TCIS, and we're blessed. And uh, Dr. Lee Sengtek, I've invited to share just a few words with the GSIS community this evening, Dr. Lee. Corona 19로 인해서 모두 고통이 큰 가운데 계실 테인데 여러분들 모두 진정으로 안녕하시기를 기원합니다. 빌랜드 박사님을 비롯하여 참석해 주신 내외 기빈 여러분, 모든 교직원 여러분, 그리고 우리 사랑하는 졸업생과 학부모 그리고 가족 여러분, 저는 앞서 빌랜드 박사께서 소개해 주신 경기 수원 외국인 학교 효산 국제 교육 재단 이사장 이상택입니다. 이 자리에서 경기 수원 외국인 학교 졸업식을 위해 축사를 한다는 것이 너무나도 기쁘게 생각하며 우선 이 모든 영광을 하나님께 올려 드립니다. 자랑스러운 10회 졸업생 여러분 
전 세계적으로 어려운 시기임에도 불구하고 오늘 많은 기빈 여러분과 학부모님의 축복 속에 맞이하는 35명의 졸업생들의 영광스러운 졸업을 진심으로 축하합니다. 또한 졸업생들을 위한 헌신적인 사랑과 한결같은 지원을 베풀어 주신 학부모님들 그리고 교직원 여러분들의 노고에 대해서 진심어린 고마움을 표합니다. 졸업생 여러분, 여러분들께서 이곳 경기 수원 외국인 학교에서 하루하루 최선을 다해 정진하며 배우고 깨달은 모든 것들은 앞으로 여러분들의 미래에 있어서 더큰 배움의 위치로 성장할 것을 믿습니다. 새로운 가치를 창조해 나가면서 어떠한 어려움과도 맞서 극복해 나갈 수 있는 지혜로운 글로벌 인재로 성장해 주시기를 바랍니다. 역대 위대한 대통령들을 예로 들면 글로벌 위기 속에서 희망찬 변화를 자신있게 제시하고 국민들에게 한마음 한뜻으로 도전한다면 무엇이든 할수 있다는 믿음을 심어주었기에 세계적인 리더가 될수 있었던 것입니다. 저는 졸업생 여러분들이 이들과 같은 세계적으로, 세계적으로 훌륭한 리더가 되기를 바랍니다. <웃음> 자랑스러운 졸업생 여러분, 행여나 세계적으로 훌륭한 리더가 되지 못한다고 하여 여러분이 기죽을 필요는 전혀 없습니다. 여러분 각자의 위치에서 좋은 결실을 맺는다면 여러분은 그 누구보다도 가장 성공적인 삶을 사는 것임을 명심하시기를 바랍니다. 그리고 끊임없는 노력, 사랑, 희망, 긍정적인 사고, 그리고 강한 믿음이라는 밑그름을 자신이라는 나무에게 아낌없이 주기를 바랍니다. 또한 각자의 위치에서 꺼짐없이 공부하면서 많은 지식과 지혜를 얻고 그, 얻, 그 얻은 모든 것을 여러분의 정성어린 마음으로 다른 사람들을 위해 나누어 주시기를 바랍니다. <웃음> 저는 이를 통해 여러분의 삶이 행복해질 것이라 확신합니다. 졸업생 여러분, 저는 여러분이 하나님의 뜻에 따라 꿈을 꾸고 기중한 가치를 지킨다면 이 세상을 더욱 아름다운 곳으로 만들 것이라고 믿습니다. 비록 여러분들은 경기 수원 외국인 학교를 떠나지만 마음은 항상 경기 수원 외국인 학교와 함께하며 그동안의 아름다운 추억을 마음에 품고 학교를 위해 기도해 주시기를 바랍니다. 혹시 여러분 중에서 지난 학교 생활 중 힘들었던 때가 있었다면 이 문을 나가기 전에 기쁨과 희망을 가지고 인생의 새로운 출발을 하시기 바랍니다. 우리 경기 수원 외교인인 학교는 거짓없이 미래를 향해 최고의 명문 국제학교로 성장, 발전해 나갈 것이며 항상 여러분들을 지지할 것을 약속드립니다. 끝으로 이 어려운 시기와 바쁜 일정에도 불구하고 졸업식에 참석하셔 자리를 빛내주신 기빈 및 학부모님 그리고 교직원 여러분들께 다시 한번 깊은 감사의 말씀을 드립니다. 하나님의 은총 속에 졸업생 여러분 모두 더 넓은 세상에 올바르고 훌륭한 큰 뜻을 펼칠 수 있기를 간절히 기도하며 제 10회 졸업생 여러분들의 졸업식을 진심으로 축하드립니다. 감사합니다. 
Good evening, everyone. I am here to introduce our amazing salutatorian for the class of 2020. When I first met her in fourth grade, I thought we would never become friends. She was the loudest one in the whole class and always start a random conversation by saying hi to every single doll she saw. So I just tried to avoid her. <laughs> but you know those people who just cannot be unknown and their existence is just so strong? Well, that was her. And yep, here I am today, after 10 years, standing here as her best friend to introduce her to all of you. She has a very unique and valuable characteristic that made who she is today. And with her positivity, she had influenced each and every one of us throughout the school year. She's not only smart, but she is also caring, loving, and talented in many different areas. But if I have to characterize her in one word, I'll say that she is very bubbly. And I believe everyone who knows her will agree with me. Uh, she's, she's always there to encourage and cheer for her friends when they're down and always has the biggest smile which brings happiness to people. She has a beautiful heart of always finding something good in everything and everyone. Well, she's still a weirdo. <laughs> Whenever we do a face chat during, uh, at midnight for psychology summatives, she would never turn her lights on. And when I ask her what's wrong, she would always say she does not want to wake her goopies up and that's her pet fishes. And that always surprised me. But at the same time, these are the things that make her so special. Wherever she goes, she will not only surprise people with her talent, um, uniqueness, and loving heart, but also bring happiness to people around her. And as your friend who has seen you for the past 10 years, I am truly proud of you. And ladies and gentlemen, I introduce you to the Cell Tutorial for the class of 2020. Please welcome Jamie Sa. Good evening, all teachers, faculty, staff members, family, and all friends of Class of 2020. We finally made it to this end. And most of all, it is so nice that we are able to celebrate the biggest moment of our lives together and not through Zoom. I'm very thankful to all the people, this school, and Jesus for letting us be able to celebrate together and graduate next to each other. Thinking about what to say for this big event was a great stress for me. I wasn't sure if I was supposed to talk either formally or casually, or if I was supposed to talk about something silly we have done as a class, like stealing a fistful of chocolate every day from Mr. Chuck's classroom and playing werewolf in the student lounge and laughing our souls out for nothing. There are tons of memories and stupid moments that I can mention and cherish, but I knew for sure the one thing that I have to say for this graduation. And the fact is that I am proud to graduate in 2020 as one member in the senior group. I mean, we've been proudly saying, we are seniors everywhere we go, and I'll never forget the power it had in that phrase which brought us together as a team and made us stronger as a friend for each other. Once again, I'm so thankful to graduate this year with all of you. Four years ago, we were tiny-minded freshmen, always getting tense whenever that time seniors walked past our presence. And now that we have become seniors ourselves, it feels unrealistic, kind of disturbing, that the world is calling us a responsible adult and forcing ourselves to be entitled as a full-grown, strong, independent person. But based on how we have been through high school, always energetic, finding and keeping positivity in stressful times, always somehow flipping sadness into happiness, always being ready to enjoy. Based on these characteristics that we have as a class, I certainly believe that each of us will have the strength to learn how to surf when big waves start coming towards us. I'm sure the future days of our lives will be just as exciting. And as of GSIS, we thank you for growing us as a un unique individual and providing us with experiences that we will always keep in one side of our hearts. Thank you for giving us time to really find out what we want to do, what is really important, and what we need to do for the things we love. Thank you all teachers for loving us and pushing us through this rigorous IV journey. We wouldn't have made it without all of you. And thank you, parents, for always being there for us to just jump in whenever we want to. And thank you, friends, for making me who I am right now. And thank you, Lord, for loving us. 
Thus, our four-year high school journey ends here, but the story that we will extend after this begins today, and that will be sh for sure fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. I'm here to introduce our co-valedictorian of class of 2020. Before I praise him for the achievement, achievements that he has made, let's look at his Facebook account. You know what they say, the best way to know a person is through the internet. So anyways, uh, his date of birth is 2001, March 13th. His gender is male. And his nickname is Bono Bono. And his favorite phrase is, I love playing the best. Okay, moving on. Uh, let's look at his first ever Facebook posts. Uh, his first post was posted at 2014, September 6th. 난 지금 아무 생각이 없다. 왜냐면 아무 생각이 없기 때문이다. So this could translate as, I have no thoughts now because I have no thoughts. So I've only known this guy for two years now, but I've seen so much in him. He's a person who wants to see the end of what he has started. So, of course, he has worked until the end to reach this level of academic achievement, but I'm now not only talking about the academic achievements that he has made. I'm talking about how he turned out to become a mature man who knows how to care for others and never give up on anything. Unlike most of us, he had less time because of his dream, becoming a doctor. He had uh, less time to write his extended essay, fill out his IAs, predicted grades and college applications. Under this pressure, I can't even visualize myself surviving through this hard course. But when I saw him, I was never worried. I just knew that he could uh, make it till the end and one, two, three steps in front of us and wave at us at our, uh, <coughs> wave at our class at the end of the finish line of our high school life. Back in 2014, September 6th, he might have had no thoughts but now I think he can probably say, I have thoughts because I think. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our co valedictorian Jungbin Yu. Good evening, everyone. My name is Jungbin Yu, and I want to give a big congratulations to everyone, including myself, for being here today. I strongly believe that we deserve to be respected because we have gone through a tough two years of ID. Nowadays, the world is full of chaos and threats, coronavirus, global warming, and weight gain during the quarantine time. Since we still managed to graduate, let's give us a big round of applause. <clears throat> so before talking about other things, I cannot leave out expressing appreciation to the people served for class of 2020. Thank you to the teachers who dedicated their time to give us meaningful lessons and limitless support. Thank you to the faculty of GSIS for maintaining school with the best condition. Thank you to the parents of students for watching our back all the time. And finally, thank you to the class of 2020 for being the best class. At last year's graduation ceremony, I had no idea, but I could, I, I had no idea that I could stand here and share a speech. When I saw last year's valedictorian speech, the first thing that came to my mind was, "Wow, I want to do that." So after a few months, in the first class of my senior life, I had to set up a goal that I want to achieve at the end of the year, and I, I wrote the word valedictorian. So that goal motivated myself when I was going through a tough time studying, and now I am here. So I would like to recommend our graduates to set your own goal and try to achieve it when you go to universities. It doesn't need to be a great goal. Start from small achievements and challenge yourself. However, do not stop or give up without no reason. It's okay to rest, but do not give up until you reach your target. Because every time, 
you achieve something, you will grow up. I strongly believe our class can continue challenging themselves without giving up because I already know some of the examples. Someone didn't stop studying physics in the middle of the prom party. And some of us successfully lost weight for their better health, even though one of them had to visit a nice guy in Yangtong and change his hairstyle. <laughs> it may be difficult to succeed, but always mem remember that the opportunity to achieve greatness is in our hand. Congratulations, 2020. It's been a fabulous two years with you. I honor you all from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Here is my Humans of GSIS hashtag Distant Connection series on my friendship with Imyong Alice Park, AKA Nacho Parque, my stunning, unique, artistic, fashionable, and genuine best friend. August 10th, 2016, Mr. Tierkey's B Block, Year 9 World History class is when it all started. Since then, we've been through bumpy roads, but we held tight like our ankle brace and went together through it all. Whether it be our basketball injuries, some of our darkest difficult days, or our Ivy crisis moments. Her contagious smile is a ray of sunshine everywhere she goes, and her constant genuine whiting or you've got this made all our worries irrelevant. Remember that super smiley girl from Duloc Dance from Shrek the Musical? Well, yes, that's her. And not to forget our crazy food moments, making J&J &J sandwiches, eating tokochik, or even maratang, or even just getting golden nuggets from Mr. Chuck's office. Alice has taught me the true meaning of friendship through her caring nature and generosity with her time to build deep relationships. Nothing makes me happier than seeing her here, not just making it to the end, but actually here on stage. She well deserves this honor. Alice, thank you for all our memories from basketball, Vida, Treehouse, our God Talks, psychology, English, Spanish, TOK, and so much more. In fact, one of my best memories with you was eating our chocolate in the senior lounge and making TikToks after spending our long days at school working on our extended essays, which we finished in the little time given. Talking about extended essays, I could go on writing EEs about you, but I'm sure we are all looking forward to listening to you. So without further ado, it is indeed a great privilege and a blessing to present to you our co-validatorian, Alice Park. Good evening, everyone. Um, my parents taught me that the most important thing in life is gratitude, so I want to start off by giving thanks. First, all the glory and praise to God. Next, to our teachers, thank you so much for your empathy and guidance as you stood by our side and led us in our journey. Also, to our administration and staff members, thank you for making our legendary graduation a reality. 그리고 우리 학교를 지켜주시고 관리해 주시는 아저씨들과 여사님들께 많은 감사를 드립니다. 그리고 또 우리 넷째 고모 <웃음> 졸업식에 와주셔서 너무 고마워요. 마지막으로 우리 아빠, 엄마, 지영 언니하고 토영 언니. <웃음> 나는 아빠, 엄마의 딸 그리고 지영 언니하고 토영 언니의 동생으로 태어난 게 나한테 제일 큰 축복이야. 어, 언제나 <웃음> 곁에 있어주고. 
And now to my class of 2020, I have many thanks to give to you as well, which I will deliver through a special gift. My gift to you is a poem, which I hope that you will receive with gentle ears and hearts. <clears throat> Open up your hands as you wind back our clocks. On the stillness of our palms, here lies our memory box. Feel the warmth of the box heated by the love that we poured into it. Feel its sharp edges, sharpened by the rigid terrains we journeyed through. Feel its firmness and knock on the solid surface that was hardened by grit and strength, protected by the varnish of our precious bonds. Lift up our memory box and feel its weight, the weight of all our ambitions and combined spirits, the weight of every secret we entrusted onto each other the weight of every personal conversation, confession, or confrontation, and the struggles and insecurities that through our worst times brought us together. But ironically, feel the boss lift up from the times when we picked up our own tired arms and wrapped them around each other. We lifted each other up high up into the skies with positive words and affirmations when we ourselves felt like we were going deep under. Feel our memory box light with the empathy that we use to wrap around each other's shoulders as we felt each other felt with each other through physical pain, emotional distress, and difficult decisions. Now feel the box rumble, vibrating against the veins along your arms from the lion inside of us, roaring with power and determination as we forced our eyes open all night, fixed on the bright light of our laptops, cramming for tests, viciously typing essays, most of them the night before or the morning of. But feel the box shake harder as you hear all the laughter, the endless high-pitched laughter that woke up giants, scared away underclassmen, and made our core go dancing. As we smacked each other's butts, we laughed at each other, with each other, giggling from our inside jokes, never bothering to hide, our mouths wide open, sharing smiles. We enjoyed every moment, every peda chicken, pizza, jajangmyeon, every new trend or dance move. We forged through the sacred times of our youth. Finally, rub your fingers along the surface of our box, the scratches that were made. They mark the truth and rawness, the bold risks, mistakes, and growth of every step of our journey. Allow your skin to follow the intricate patterns engraved, lines intersected the way our lives intersected, and how like each unique pattern on the box, we accepted each other's quirks and became who we are through each other. Lastly, find your way to the lock on our memory box. We do not need to say it aloud, for we know where the key is. When we go off into the uncertain, the twisted and the unknown, when we feel lonely, lost, or misplaced, open our memory box and allow our memories to guide you. Thank you, and I love you guys so much.
성경 말씀 봉독해 드리겠습니다. 전도서 12장입니다. 너는 청년의 때에 너의 창조주를 기억하라. 곧 공고한 날이 이르기 전에 나는, <웃음> 나는 아무 낙이 없다고 할 해들이 가깝기 전에 해와 빛과 달과 별들이 어둡기 전에 비 뒤에 구름이 다시 일어나기 전에 그리하라. 그런 날에는 집을 지키는 자들이 떨 것이며 힘 있는 자들이 구부러질 것이며 맷돌질하는 자들이 저금으로 그칠 것이며 창들, 창들로 내다보는 자가 어두워질 것이며 길거리 문들이 닫혀질 것이며 맷돌 소리가 적어질 것이며 새 소리로 말미암아 일어날 것이며 음악하는 여자들은 다 쇠하여 질 것이며 또한 그런 자들은 높은 곳을 두려워할 것이며 길에서는 놀랄 것이며 살구나무가 꽃이 필 것이며 메뚜기도 짐이 될 것이며 정욕이 그치리니 이는 사람이 자기의 영원한 집으로 돌아가고 조문객들이 거리로 왕래하게 됨이니라 은줄이 풀리고 금 그릇이 깨지고 항아리가 샘 곁에서 깨지고 바퀴가 우물 위에서 깨지고 흙은 여전히 땅으로 돌아가고 영은 그것을 주신 하나님께로 돌아가기 전에 기억, 기억하라. 전도자가 이르되 헛되고 헛되도다. 모든 것이 헛되도다. 전도자는 지혜자이어서 여전히 백성에게 지식을 가르쳤고 또 깊이 생각하고 연구하여 자원을 많이 지었으며 전도자는 힘써 아름다운 말들을 구하였나니 진리의 말씀들을 정직하게 기록하였느니라. 지혜자들의 말씀들은 찌르는 채찍들 같고 회중의 스승들의 말씀들은 잘 박힌 목 같으니 다한 목자가 주신 바이니라. 내 아들아 또 이것들로부터 경계를 받으라. 많은 책들을 짓는 것은 끝이 없고 많이 공부하는 것은 몸을 피곤하게 하느니라. 일의 결국을 다 들었으니 하나님을 경외하고 그분의 명령들을 지킬지어다. 이것이 모든 사람의 본분이니라. 하나님은 모든 행위와 모든 은밀한 일의 선악간에 심판하시리라. 아멘. 리딩 프롬 에클레시아스 챕터 12 Remember your Creator in the days of your youth, before the days of trouble come and the years approach, when you will say, I find no pleasure in them. Before the sun and the light and the moon and the stars grow dark and the clouds return after the rain, when the keepers of the house tremble and the strong men stoop, when the grinders cease because they are few and those looking through the windows grow dim, When the doors to the street are closed and the sound of grinding fades, when men rise up at the sound of birds, but all their songs grow faint, when men are afraid of heights and of dangers in the streets, when the almond tree blossoms and the grasshopper drags himself along and desire no longer is stirred, then man goes to his eternal home and mourners go about the streets. Remember him. Before the silver cord is severed, or the golden bowl is broken, before the pitcher is shattered at the spring, or the wheel broken at the well, and the dust returns to the ground it came from, and the spirit returns to God who gave it. Meaningless, meaningless, says the teacher. Everything is meaningless. Not only was the teacher wise, but also he imparted knowledge to the people. He pondered and searched out and set in order many proverbs. The teacher searched to find just the right words, and what he wrote was upright and true. The words of the wise are like goads. They're collected saying like firmly embedded nails, giving by one shepherd. Be warned, my son, of anything in addition to them. Of making many books there is no end, and much study wearies the body. Now all has been heard. Here's the conclusion of the matter. Fear God and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of men. For God will bring every deed into judgment, including every hidden thing, whether it is good or evil. Amen.
Let us pray. Heavenly Father, as we gather here today, we thank you for all the blessings you allowed us for today's joyful and glorious moment. First, we thank you for our precious class of 2020 to have gone through many years to successfully complete all required classes that they can go on to the next chapter of their lives you prepare for them. We believe that through their time here at GSIS, they could find their hope and dream for their future thanks to the care and love of teachers and parents who love them so much. Please bless them to be true men and women for the benefit of others like Jesus taught us. Please help them to use all the knowledge and wisdom they learned here to make this world better, which God would be glorified with. Lord, we know that sometimes you allow us to face and experience troubles and hardships so that we can grow, get stronger, and mature through having deeper relationship with you. When you allow them the moment of hardship and trouble in their life, please give them solace and strength that they can remember you are with them as you are with them at the time of joy and glory. Please let them realize that your blessings will come in both the form of glory and hardship so that they will be true blessings to their families, friends, and all the ones you will allow to be around them. Father, bless all the parents and family members who have sacrificed so much for their precious kids to come to this moment today. Wherever they go for the next chapter of their life, please have our class of 2020 continue to show their sincere heart for gratitude to their parents and family members. Help the parents and family members stay in peace and comfort when their kids bravely advance to the world of joy and excitement. Lord, bless all the faculty and staff who sincerely loved, cared for, and helped the graduates come to this moment today. They are thankful for having the opportunity to be a part of their lives. Allow them great joy at this moment that they can be encouraged and continue to be used as your great vehicles for your other precious children. Lord, we thank you for all this and your being our Father. We pray all of this in your precious Jesus' name. Amen. Good evening. I'm honored to be introducing the speaker of the baccalaureate service tonight. I have had the privilege of knowing Mrs. Srija Turkey to the personal level as a mom friend for the past seven years out of nine that she worked at GSIS. As you know, she is one of the most caring teachers and is very knowledgeable for the subject she teaches. She has gained the master's degree in English language and literature from Mahatma Gandhi University and is an IB examiner. Despite the level of academic excellence she is prepared with to provide to her students, she is the person who puts the attitudes before the intelligence. She celebrates the excellence with a smile on her face, but can change her face in an instance when she notices a problem in the attitude. She cares for the sincerity, and she is extremely patient. Knowing her husband also, she really is. Mrs. Turkey is one of the most courageous women I know. We all take on an unknown road, but she does this extraordinarily. I bet she knows that God is always with her, so once she knows where to reach, she puts her focus on finding the ways to reach there. Sometimes she knows that there are many detours. 
but she doesn't change her goal. Mr. and Mrs. Turkey decided to move to Canada where Mr. Turkey will be a student for his third master's degree. Mrs. Turkey's first step into this new journey was to learn a new language, French. And being so consistent with her practice, she passed the fluency test in six months. She may be still a beginner, but she's made a move. Not all of her moves have been smooth, like the acquisition of another language. Mrs. Turkey married Mr. Turkey 12 years ago. They met in Indonesia, where they both were teaching at the same school. However, raised in a very wealthy Indian family, Mrs. Turkey's marriage to a teacher with Christian faith was not approved by her parents. Yet, God was so real, and she married Mr. Turkey in God's blessing. I am not trying to encourage you to refuse your parents' advice for your future spouse. What I want to say is that no matter how rough or soft the way to arrive at the entrance of the new chapter, Mrs. Turkey would embrace the richness of the content that comes afterwards, standing by the Lord and constantly preparing herself for the forthcoming mini adventures. She has certainly been someone that guided you to arrive well at the entrance of the new chapter. Please join me in welcoming tonight's baccalaureate speaker, Mrs. Srija Tirki. Dr. Penglin, the founder of GSIS, other admins and guests on the dais, fellow teachers and staff, parents, and my dear class of 2020, good evening. Thank you, Ms. Kim, for that lovely introduction. I hope it is lovely. I have to see her after this. <laughs> my personal life is public now. <laughs> but nothing uh, new that you don't know. Uh, it did bring back, um, bring back a lot of memories. Um, so even before I start my long list of advice for you, Ms. Kim has warned you to think twice before you follow my footsteps. But still, this is a privilege. I'm honored to stand in front of you one last time to address you as a class and share some moments with you. So nice to see you in graduation gowns and caps. Young adults. Oh. <laughs> You have grown so much. I'm so glad I got to spend multiple years with you. We were able to bring in different cultures to our room, whether it is from India, the US, Mauritius, Korea, Japan, Australia, and many more countries where you can claim part of your identity from. We enjoyed hearing Walter Lee with an Australian accent when William and Jeremy read the dialogues from the play Horizon in the Sun. But no one could beat Nathan and his talent in imitating the Southern accent. And many times, coincidences of matching outfits brightened our days. It was unbelievable how one day, Tony, Edward, and I were wearing the same color shirts and pants. <laughs> And another day, when all in D-Block were twinning unplanned, Rikumu and Erica in off-white, Alice and Kevin in black, Tony and Edward in gray, and Tatiana and Christine in pink. We enjoyed taking pictures and adding them to our memory wall in class. And though it was not so fun, 
Some of you, especially in my F block, you will remember the lapses and push-ups that you had to do in the first block when you did not show much enthusiasm. Tiwan, Hojin, Eugene, Yeren, um, Jen, Hyunho, you all hated it. But <laughs> we had Claire, who was willing to do it faster, thinking the torture will end sooner then. <laughs> I was glad to see how some of you who hated literature in the beginning were enjoying it even more than others by the end of the year. I want you to remember that Janie, Jay Gatsby, Esther Greenwood, or Walter Lee are not just characters in books. They represent real people with insecurities, uncertainties, and dreams, just like you and me. I hope those characters that you learned in books help you empathize with people you meet later. Enjoy life. Appreciate every moment, because we do not know what is in store for us in future. This historic moment, yes, for the whole world, this is an unforgettable year, which will be discussed in the history of the world. And you are being part of this historic time as graduates. The present really teaches us the value of life. I have seen Changmin, Jason, Brian, Brad, and William enjoying playing sports during lunch races. You are all such good team players. I've seen Kane being a big brother to the elementary students during chess club, teaching, encouraging, and motivating them. I've seen Alice, Tatiana, Jamie, Christine, Gina, Susan, and your girl gang enjoying your chit chats and usually being the last ones to leave the cafeteria after lunch. <laughs> you all have completely different personalities outside classroom. Jongbin and Carrie, for example. They are so quiet, but not when it is SEW team competition time. They will be in front, ready to do anything for the team. Brendan, the complete actor, and Caitlin, who have brought many wonderful characters to life. Tay, our Valentine's Day singer, spreading the message of love. <laughs> I'll definitely miss you guys. All those moments that I mentioned are going to be beautiful memories for you. Let me remind you some more things that you're going to miss. You will miss J&J. &J. <laughs> you will miss Schoology Reminders. <laughs> Enjoy the little things in life. For one day, you will look back and realize they were big things. Some of you know how forgetful Mr. Turkey is, right? Not as bad as Kevin, who slept in a taxi for two, three hours and reached some beach instead of home. <laughs> I spilled the beans, Kevin, oops. <laughs> but you did not panic in that situation. You were confident and you could laugh at it. So you might empathize with Mr. Turkey. Mr. Turkey once asked me to wait in the car park, but forgot to pick me up until he noticed an unusual long silence in the car. <laughs> you know me. Another day, he forgot that he left our little one in the car seat and went out happily. But we are still married and happy. <laughs> so what do you think I can give you uh, from my experience? What advice do you think I can give you from my experience? I know what you must be thinking. Mrs. Turkey must have given up on Mr. Turkey. In a way, true. <laughs> because, because we both know we are different individuals and accept each other as who we are. So an important thing to do to not feel disappointed in life is not to expect, but accept people as who they are. People are all different. We all carry different emotional baggage and share different perspectives. 
Respect everyone. And instead of expecting someone to be your way, accept those people with their differences. GSIS has taught you to appreciate differences and consider different perspectives. I believe that GSIS has also helped you form a strong faith in God. Life is not going to be full of roses for anyone. But at any time in your life, you are stuck with uncertainties. I would tell you to remember the values you learned in school. There are always uncertainties in life. But how you deal with it, how you perceive your problems, and how you resolve it is what makes you who you are. Many times in my life, when I have faced uncertainties, I have tried my ways and felt extremely stressful and weak. But then I realize that I'm forgetting something. I forget to trust in God at that moment. My problems are not something that he is unaware of, and he already has plans for me. So I pray for him to take over the burden of decision from me and let his will be done. I have found peace many times in such situation, and I surrender my difficulties to God. I strongly believe he protects each one of us and wants us to trust him. Isaiah chapter 26 verse 4 reminds us of the trust we have to have in God. Trust in the Lord forever, for the Lord God is an everlasting rock. What a promise. Some of you might have had certain universities in your mind as your dream college and must have felt extremely sad if you were rejected from them or are not able to join them because of the pandemic. But I'm telling you, God has a plan where you should be and what that will be the best plan for you. And that plan is to help you grow stronger and be better. I was so proud when I was in college. I was a second topper in the university for my bachelor's and master's. Then I applied for my bachelor of education in a college nearby, and I was so sure that I would get in. Attitude, you know. It was at that time that one of my friends introduced me to another Christian college and asked me to apply there too, just in case. I didn't want to, but I did just to make my friend happy. And guess what? I was rejected from my dream college. It was devastating. I did not make it even to the last one in the list. It was unbelievable. But my name was the first one in the list in the second college that I applied to. I was happy to see that, but I didn't want to go there. That was not the best, according to me. But that was one of the best years I had in my life. I got lots of opportunities to shine and grow as a leader. I met many beautiful down-to-earth people and grew spiritually. I would not have had those opportunities in my dream college. So there is always something better for you when you let God plan for you. I would like to read to you Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. It's true. I'm glad I'm a teacher because I don't just teach the content, but I get to share my life and experiences with you guys. Cindy, Leslie, Erin, and Irene, you all have shown keen interest in knowing more about me and have eagerly listened to my stories. Some of my stories, as Ms. Kim said, might teach you that not all decisions are easy. The consequences can be very hard to bear, but I believe that even in those tough decisions, God was with me because I have never regretted making those. But sometimes, we do make mistakes in life. If you make one, do not fear. Your life doesn't end there. I have told you this in class too. Always remember that each mistake is just an experience for you to know what is right and what is wrong 
or what is possible and what is impossible. Take it as a learning experience. Look at that experience positively. Apply your reverse gear when needed. Take a step back and look for another route. That's it. If that doesn't work, reverse again. Look for another route till you find the right one. Never think your road ends there. Trust in God for your right decisions. Even when you make mistakes, know that you can always trust God and seek his help. Just like how you would run to a friend or your parents and you know that they won't judge you. The Lord is even a greater friend and parent. Remember Proverbs 3, 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make straight your paths. It's hard for us to see God's vision in our lives, honestly. But if we trust in him and have faith, he will guide us down the road that he has built, especially for us. I know this is not your dream graduation, but your hard work and commitment were no way less and you deserve the success. GSIS will be a place full of memories for you. I've been here for nine years, as Ms. Kim said, and I have seen you grow physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. Even when the whole world has turned upside down now with the pandemic, I'm so glad that we are here together to hold you tightly to say, it's gonna be okay. We are in this together. I can see how much you have grown to stay strong in these moments of uncertainty. Your class has that willingness and strength to hold on to each other and sail and finish the end strong. I wish each one of you the very best now and always. And may the Lord be with you always, guiding you and protecting you, keeping you safe and helping you with tough decisions. And may he use you to help millions of people in multiple ways where they will see the Lord in you. Thank you.
It is my uh, great honor to introduce our graduation speaker for the class of 2020. Uh, the speaker, Ms. Olivia Chan, has been in Korea for four years, but she's one of the most Korean like non-Korean that I know. You can tell this is true when you ask her, hey, what is your Kore a favorite Korean food? And one of her answers is ganjang gejang, which is raw crab marinated in vinegar. It's not a dish that a regular foreigner will mention as their favorite Korean food. Born in Hong Kong, she moved to Toronto, Canada when she was one. She grew up there as a cross-cultural kid. She attended Queen's University as a biology major, English Lang and Lit minor with an education track. After finishing her bachelor's degree, her first pick for her professional life was GSIS back in 2016. Throughout her four years at GSIS, she not only excelled in her teaching in DP MYP science, but her presence was felt in so many areas of the school. This includes coaching boys volleyball, girls basketball, badminton, being the advisor for MUN, Green Club, Key Club, and even cooking meat for many events that required barbecues. Sadly, along with the class of 2020, GSIS will say farewell to her as she transitions back to Toronto, Canada for the next school year. Although it is sad for us to have one of the most dedicated teachers go, we should all celebrate because she will be getting married this December to a man of God named Kenny. I'm just a little bit jealous that she's getting married, but just a little bit, but yeah. She will be teaching at a new school called the York School in Toronto, the school mascot being the Gladiators. She will no longer be a knight, but will be a gladiator. At the moment I heard that Ms. Chan was selected as the graduation speaker, I nodded my head and said, of course. One of the first memories I have with Ms. Chan is when I met her during volleyball open gym. I was there to see the players that I will be coaching soon, and Ms. Chan was also in the gym. Since I didn't know any student at that time, since I was new to this school, I asked her about the players, and each one of them that I asked, she had an analytical answer to. So in my head, I thought, wow, she knows so much details of the student. So I decided to recruit her as my assistant coach, which she took forever to make a decision. But was, uh, during that time, I was able to get to know her uh, during the season and throughout the year. I realized a few things as I got to know her. First, she is dedicated in helping students reach their potential. She never gives up on anybody. She always tries to see the bright side and continues to encourage those who feel like they are not reaching their potential. Recently in our senior retreat, some seniors have thanked Ms. Chen for not giving up on them and treating them the same despite their science grades. I thought this is the kind of teacher that any student needs. Second, she's dedicated in being a part of the community. Like I mentioned before, when I first came to GSIS, there wasn't much to find in this school that Ms. Chan was not involved with. She always wants to help and be involved. She will go anywhere if the students need her. She will never say no to an opportunity to chaperone. This is the kind of teacher that, the, that any school needs. Lastly, her love for the Lord is apparent as well. As a friend, I know that she continues to seek the Lord daily. She wants to grow in her faith and follow the steps in life God has planned out for her. This is the kind of teacher that God wants in his kingdom. Uh, I know that the graduating class always votes for the graduation speaker each year, and I'm confident that this is the kind of teacher that the class of 2020 will appreciate as their graduation speaker. Ladies and gentlemen, please warmly welcome Ms. Olivia Chen. Whoever bet that I would cry before my speech, you guys just want some money. Okay. All right, so hello, honored guests, distinguished faculty, and proud family members. I stand before you today inspired and touched to have this opportunity to speak to our class of 2020. I'm filled with gratitude to have been chosen as their commencement speaker. I've been on this journey for them for four years long or short, depending on how you look at it. Okay, so when I was writing this speech for you all, I thought about all the things that I wanted to share with you. Life advice, 
leaving well, but for a long time, my document sat blank. I'm sure some of you are very familiar with this feeling. Uh, you call it procrastination, and it's happened many times, right? <laughs> but I learned to call it inspiration in the moment. But truly, GSIS is filled with so many wonderful faculty and so many great messages that have already been passed on to you that I struggled a little bit to find something that you haven't heard before. And to be quite honest, I didn't know how to deal with what COVID-19 stole from us. Our time together, our could have been prom, and even graduation that would have looked so differently. And as you've learned as a class together, life will present itself with challenges far worse than receiving a two on any test. Yes, even a biology test. This unexpected loss that we experienced maybe led to anger, frustration, or complacency that this is what life is going to be like from now on. Life always has a way of changing our plans and giving us new challenges to deal with. So in let of, instead of letting COVID-19 claim what we have lost and let that be the focus, why not focus our attention on what has not changed and what COVID-19 could not take from us? The things that make us laugh, our memories together, the bonds that we formed, and the journey of how we got here. So let's start at the beginning of my journey that some of you have asked me about. How did I end up here in Korea? Well, four years ago, I took a leap of faith and I moved to Korea to start my teaching career, career here at GSIS. I didn't know anyone here, I didn't speak any Korean, and honestly, I didn't know what I was getting myself into. So how did I get here? Well, it started on a Friday. It was January 29th, 2016 to be exact. It was a very icy morning in Kingston, Ontario, at Queen's University in Canada. I remember that day specifically because I was headed to a job fair at my university campus. And when I got in my car that morning, it had been so cold the night before that it didn't even start. I know, it's Canada, right? So expected. It's going to be a bad day, I thought to myself. Me and my friends took a really cramped bus to campus and we entered the job fair. There, everyone had an envelope with their name on it, and inside it were potentially invitations from schools who wanted to interview us, who wanted, to be, uh, who wanted us to be their teachers. Excitedly, I lined up, received my envelope, Olivia Chan, taped right across the top. Opening it was like opening an email from university. Did I get in? Did I get accepted? Does anyone even want me? Maybe some of you can relate to these feelings. Horrified, I opened the envelope and I found zero invitations, zero. Nobody wants me, I thought to myself. I'm not a desirable candidate. My mind was spinning and I was devastated. I don't know where to go from there, but I knew that I couldn't let an empty envelope take away my hopes and dreams of becoming an international educator. Part two of the job fair was a speed dating interview set up in a large gym. There, I had a chance to bring my resume, introduce myself, and hope that in a two minute conversation that I had with the heads of schools, that they were interested. I pulled myself together, told myself it's not over, and I lined up for many schools. Singapore, Hong Kong, China, and Taiwan were countries at the top of my list. At that point, I wanted to go somewhere that was new, but still relatively familiar because of the language. But when Dr. Penlin offered me a job at GSIS, for some reason, I couldn't turn it down. So two days later, on January 31st, 2016, I said yes to my very first teaching job. Fast forward to August 2016, on the first day of classes. I stood in front of my grade nine MYP biology class. Brian, Yaren, Hojin, Brendan, Claire, Eugene, Cindy, 
Tatiana, William, Caitlin, Susan, Aaron, Clara, Brad, Kane, and Kevin. A room full of unfamiliar faces at that time. And as a first year teacher, I was nervous. To be honest, I thought some of you really didn't like me. I gave out really low grades in quarter one, and I felt like I developed that reputation of being that hard teacher with all of you. But then there was volleyball, and then we experienced our first upper secondary SCW together. We went on our first base trip to Indonesia together, basketball and badminton. And through those times together, I learned about the class of 2020's hearts for service, your competitive but playful attitudes, the genuine love and care that you have for each other. During Christmas time, I remember cutting out snowflakes as a grade nine homeroom together. And that's when I took this picture. I know it's kind of small, but it's just a picture of Brendan, Brad, Partha, Tay, and Rakumu with a peace sign in the background. Okay. And for some reason, this picture was stuck on my wall for two or for four years on two pieces of tape that I just haphazardly put on the wall and it stayed there for four years. The next two years were filled with even more memories and experiences together. Personally, it was a time in Korea when I struggled a lot and I felt displaced and alone. But in my deepest and my darkest moments, going to school every day meant coming to spend time with you and seeing the way that you all loved each other and the way that you freely opened up to me gave me the strength and the courage to continue. I also want to share my life verse with you, which gave me a lot of encouragement in times of uncertainty. Psalm chapter 73, verse 26. My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. It's a verse that I reflect on whenever life seems to be against me. Fast forward to August 2019, on the last first day of high school. I asked you all this question. How do you want to be remembered when you leave GSIS? I challenge each of you to set a goal and to be the best versions of yourselves in 2019 to 2020. I set one for myself too to have a yes attitude. Knowing that this would be my last year at GSIS, I wanted to squeeze every bit of fun out of it as much as possible. So November turned into yes Vember, then yes Ember, then yes January, and yes, yes Brewery, I guess. But here we know this is where things took an unexpected turn. And like many of you, by February, I was frustrated by the world and how my time in Korea was coming to an end. And at times, maybe this year felt like it did for me four years ago, looking into an empty envelope, generating feelings of uncertainty and frustration, maybe even grief. But know that your class has a unique advantage in this world, that you know how to overcome challenges, to pick yourselves and each other up, and to become even bigger and bolder in this world. I can tell you this, that you are and will always be the most unforgettable graduating class of GSIS. If anything, COVID-19 highlighted all the best characteristics that you have as a class. Your love for one another, your resiliency in the face of change and failures, and your openness to new things and novel circumstances. Just as you all extend your openness to one another, know that I will always remember the way that you left me into your 2020 family. I always felt included, and so many times one of you said to me, Miss Chan, you're part of the class of 2020. I never thought that saying yes four years ago would lead to making so many great unforgettable memories and building so many meaningful relationships here. Whether you've been here for two years or 12, we all know that GSIS is a special place. We will always remember Miss Jenny Kim's snack shop musubi and all the free food that we get from school events. 
And no matter how old or discolored our SEW or VASE t-shirts become, we won't ever be able to let them go. So here I stand right with you at the end of your high school journey. It's been four years of high school for you and four years of learning for the both of us. Wherever you go next, it's a leap of faith into the unknown, into something new and unpredictable. You might feel like you're staring into an empty envelope. But you see, COVID or no COVID, some things don't change. The memories that you've made here, the bonds that you have with each other, they'll be stuck to you. And you'll really be surprised just how long they happen to stick with you. I leave with you, the class of 2020, with a challenge. A challenge to embrace your next leap of faith into the unknown. Because you never know what memories you'll create because of it. I know the future is scary, and you might even feel alone at times. But remember, the connections that you made here at GSIS are special and long-lasting. So remember your roots. Be grateful to those who have impacted your lives. Say your thank yous and goodbyes. And know, for every leap into the unknown, you will always have these memories to hold on to. Congratulations, class of 2020. Thank you for letting me be a part of your journey. Yorobun modu sananghyo. I love you all. Thank you, seniors, for your speeches tonight. And thank you, faculty, for your speeches tonight. They are meaningful to all of us. Ladies and gentlemen, parents and students and distinguished guests, the GSIS graduating class of 2020 is a distinguished group of diverse and uniquely gifted high school students. The class is made up of 35 class members. And we have here tonight all 35 class members present. We have four heritage graduates having attended GSIS at least from second grade onwards. Mr. Hong Ju Jeremy Yu enrolled in August 11th, 2008 in grade one. Mr. Brendan Cha Hunbyo Hodge, grade one also, same day, 08-11, 2008. Ms. Erica in Sue Kim, kindergarten, 8-13-07. The school was one year old. Miss Jamie Jane Sa, kindergarten, 8-13-07. Thank you to these students for your role in GSIS and to you parents for sticking with GSIS and the education here. The class members are from eight different nations, from Australia, China, the Republic of Korea, India, Japan, Mauritius, the United Kingdom, and the United States. The class has distinguished itself academically with a class average on the SAT one of 13, 13 out of 1600, well above US public school average, above US private school average, above the average for international schools in the Ircos region, and the Ircos region, as far as international school, has the highest SAT averages in the world. The class members have received 169 acceptances to more than 97 different colleges and universities around the world. GSIS students were accepted to top universities in Australia, Canada, Hong Kong, Japan, Korea, Spain, the United Kingdom and the USA. The class scholars were invited to study in the following colleges and university in Australia, the University of Melbourne, the University of Queensland, the University of Sydney, in Canada, the University of British Columbia, in Hong Kong, the Hong Kong University of Science and Technology, in Japan, the International Christian University, Keio University, Keio University Shonan Fushuas, Waseda University. In Korea, Korea Advanced Institute of Science and Technology, KAIST. In Spain, St. Louis University, Madrid. In the United Kingdom, 
Imperial College London, King's College London, the University of Edinburgh, University College London, University of Birmingham, University of Central Lancashire, University of Leeds, University of Manchester, University of Plymouth. And in the United States, the Albany College of Pharmacy and Health Science, Arizona State University, Tempe, Asbury University, Bates College, Binghamton University, Boston University, California State University, Fullerton, Cal State University, Long Beach, Cal State University, Northridge, Cal State University, San Bernardino, Cornerstone University, John Jay College of Criminal Justice, Denim Denimus University, Denison University, Dickinson College, Drexel University, Embry-Riddle Aeronautic University in Daytona Beach, Emerson College, Emory University, Fashion Institute of Technology, George Mason University, George Washington University, Indiana University, Bloomington, Michigan State University, New York University, North Park University, Northeastern University, Ohio State University, Pennsylvania State University, Pennsylvania State University, Erie, Pennsylvania State University, Harrisburg, Pepperdine University, Purdue University, Regis College, Rensselaer Polytech Institute, Rhodes College, Rochester Institute of Technology, Rutgers University, New Brunswick, San Diego State University, San Jose State University, St. John's University, New York, Stevens Institute of Technology, Stony Brook University, Sunny at Albany, that's the State University of New York at Albany, Syracuse University, Texas A&M University College Station, the New School Parsons School of Design, the University of Tennessee, the University of Texas Austin, Truett McConnell University, the University of California, Berkeley, the University of California, Davis, the University of California, Irvine, the University of California, Merced, University of California, Riverside, University of California, San Diego, University of California, Santa Barbara, University of California, Santa Cruz, University of Colorado Boulder, University of Connecticut, University of Florida, University of Illinois, Urban, Urbana-Champaign campus, University of Maryland College Park, University of Massachusetts Amherst, University of Miami, University of Minnesota Twin Cities, University of Oregon, University of Pittsburgh, University of Rochester, University of San Diego, University of San Francisco, the University of Southern California, the University of Utah, the University of Washington Bothell, the University of Washington Seattle, the University of Wisconsin-Madison, Valparaiso University, and Virginia Polytech Institute and State University. World-class education. Every school, and especially international schools, want to say we have a world-class education at our school. How do you know if you're world-class in this industry? If you are in international education, you would start with a body of international educator and venture outside of one's own national or regional education and definition of quality. You would allow these educators unfettered access to your school and your school product to assess and determine what it is that you attempt to accomplish with these students. You would also ask higher education institutes around the world what they want to have more successful students in their programs and then align your programs with their desires. This is what GSIS has done. As an international baccalaureate world school, GSIS has placed itself in a very distinguished group of schools from around the world. Every year, our graduating class has created its own unique experiences and unforgettable stories. This year as well, GSIS class of 2020 has collectively navigated its way through untrodden path, thus writing its own new story. While they were unable to attend school because of the coronavirus, students faithfully attended online classes. Moreover, the class of 2020 had to utilize all possible methods, traditional and innovative, in preparing for IB exams. Despite hard efforts, however, we were notified on March 23, 2020, that IB exams would be canceled across the world. This was a shocking decision. Nevertheless, GSIS maintained to complete all internal and external assessments according to schedule. Full di diploma candidates joined their fellow senior classmates and completed 68 oral exams as well as uploading a total of 314 pieces of work onto the IBIS system. Despite limited access to school facilities and the IB repeatedly changing its instructions, 
our students successfully submitted all assessment pieces in a timely fashion. This is a great accomplishment made possible by strong teacher-student teamwork. GS, GSIS witnessed everyone rally, rallying around and uplifting one another during those testing times. Out of this cohort of 35 students, 27 of these seniors, 77% of the class were registered as full DP students in six different DP subject areas, three of them being at the higher level. And after completing all the other requirements, 11 of the 35 or 31% of the full diploma students are also candidates for the IB bilingual diploma, which means that these students analyze literature in two or more languages. DP candidates also had to complete and submit a 4,000 word original research project during their last two years called the Extended Essay Project or EE. The class completed a total of 27 extended essays in the following subject areas. 12, 12 extended essays in Group 1, Language and Literature, 8 in English, 3 in Korean, and 1 in Chinese. 1 extended essay in Group 2, Language B, Korean B. 4 extended essays in Group 3, Humanities, 1 in Business Management, 2 in Economics, 1 in Psychology. And 7 extended essays in Group 4, Sciences, 1 in Biology, 2 in Chemistry, 4 in Physics, and 3 in Group 6, The Arts, one in music and two in visual arts. Furthermore, during their junior and senior year, they completed the TOK Theory of Knowledge course with requisite work and papers of a college epistemology course. Today, I would like at this time to recognize and acknowledge our 10th class of IB diploma sitting candidates, our 9th class of IB diploma sitting candidates at GSIS. Will the 27 seniors who are sitting candidates for the IB diploma please rise and will you please acknowledge the extraordinary efforts over the last two years of these students. IB Diploma candidates, please stand at this time. Congratulations. Thank you. You may be seated. World-class education must do more than just educate the mind. We must motivate the human to make a difference. We don't need more highly advantaged people who are self-centered and uncaring. We need highly advantaged graduates with a heart and a compassion to make a difference in their world. We need graduates who have not only engaged their hearts, but the, their heads, but their hearts and their hands. The CAS or Create Creativity Activity Service part of the IB program which is a graduation requirement for all GSIS students, allows them to follow their interests and passions outside of the classroom. In a recent CAS interview with one of the seniors, the student commented on how their CAS experience was the value-added part of the IB program. More than one student commented on skills they learned through the CAS program, including communication, collaboration, perseverance, and reflection, all of which will be important to their success at university and beyond. One of the noteworthy CAS projects included creating a children's book about the Korean War, which was published in three languages, English, English, Korean, and Mandarin. Copies of this book were donated to orphanage as well as to base trip locations. Other experiences included delivering briquettes to the poor in Seoul as winter was setting in, going on base trips, playing on GSIS sports teams, participating in theater production, and reading books to Korean children and teaching them English at a local library. The positive impact of GSIS students through the CAS program has been felt near and far. This class has embraced a holistic education and as evidenced in their spoken testimonies and written spiritual formation essays have gained so much from their experiences by serving others. Every member of the class studied the Bible each year with, as the, with their classmates led by a dedicated Bible teacher. Their last assignment at GSIS was a reflective essay on their spiritual journey in life thus far. I've reviewed those papers and in my 20 years of reading senior papers from TCIS and GSIS, in terms of transparency, humility, and a hunger for truth in their life, they were outstanding. They demonstrated that they understand at a deeper level of what it means to be a Christ follower and the commitment it takes to own and live personally a Christian worldview. GSIS is a unique school. It is a three program PYP, MYP, DP school faith-based Christian IB school. There are nine of those in the world. This is a very 
unique school that you've attended. It seeks to instill within each student a hunger and thirst for truth, for justice, for righteousness. I am convinced that this class is prepared as intentionally cultivated, internationally minded learners to lead forward in serving, using their lives for the glory of God. Would all the class of 2020 please rise and be acknowledged for embracing the mission of GSIS. Every one of you, please join me in thanking them for their generous, magnificent spirit of living out head, heart, and hands in service in our community. Class, please stand and be recognized. I believe, and our school believes, as we bless others, you may be seated, seniors, as we bless others, God blesses us. I do not think we can bless others with the motive of our own reward. But I do believe that God blesses those who bless others. Thank you for blessing. I have further evidence of that with this class, this class that gave themselves so generously. These 35 students have won a total in merit scholarship of amount just under $3 million U.S. dollars, $2,919,798 U.S. dollars. 35 students. A lot of schools want you to come and study and be a scholar there. Congratulations, class. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a very distinguished and blessed group of international high school students. The GSIS School Management and Operations Committee members, the 35 graduates I present to you today has successfully completed the required course of study and have been duly examined and found duly qualified with the requirements of the course. Therefore, I recommend them to you for their diploma, awarded as an acknowledgement of proficiency and completion of their high school education. Dr. Delos and Mr. Cartmel, will you now join me and assist me in the presentation of their diplomas? Jinkyo Beck. <laughs> Brian Sonwu Bay. Yaren Choi. Hojin Chong. Tavon Vergus George. Brendan Hodge. Irene Dayan Jones.
Claire Jayun Kong. Erica Kim. Eugene Scott Kim. Hyun Ho Kim. Cindy Kim. Tae Hyung Kim. Tatiana LaRoche. William Gunn Lee. Leslie Gawan Lee. Caitlin Lee. Changmin Moon. Christine Yena Nam. <laughs> Im Young Alice Park.
Jiyun Park. Nathan Hyun Park. Jason Park. Susan Sehi Park. Aaron Angela Rue. Rikumu Shigeta. Edward Chol Shin. Jamie Jamie Sa Take you um Hongju Jeremy Yu Chung Ho Yoon Jung Bin Yoon Tony Yu. Kevin Young. <laughs> Q 
Carrie Zhao. Class of 2020, today marks the end of your GSIS journey, and I'm sure the last few months have been quite incredible for you. We pray every blessing for you, for your future. Class of 2020, please rise. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the graduated class of 2020 and the newest alumni of GSIS. Class. You may now move your tassels. Congratulations, Chukahamnida. Yes, you may throw your caps. <laughs> Congratulations, class. Uh, it's it is time to celebrate. And uh, I've just some closing announcements before we have our prayer. Uh, unfortunately, due to COVID-19 restrictions this year, we are not able to offer to our parents and guests an ample and delicious buffet after the ceremony. However, we do want to thank you for your support through the years to GSIS and allowing your child to be part of GSIS. And I trust you found this celebration this evening memorable. There will be a time of picture taking after the recessional and the, uh, by the class. And once that's completed, our evening will have been completed. Please maintain social physical distancing outside of your family clusters and accept for pictures with other parties agreeing to participate. Thank you for your care and consideration for the well-being of everyone here. Thank you for allowing us to make this evening possible with agreeing on these procedures. And now I would like to ask uh, Mr. Ronnie LaRoche to come and give the benediction to our program this evening. Will everyone please stand for our closing prayer and benediction. Please stand. Class of 2020, it is a great honor and privilege to bless you and spiritually send you off. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, as we humbly present ourselves before your throne of grace, we want to thank you for your faithfulness and for all the details that you have taken care of in the lives of class 2020. As we lift the class of 2020 to you, we as parents, we want to thank you and praise you for your presence throughout their journey in life. Thank you, Lord, for having breathed your breath of life in them. From their very first step to their first day in elementary school, to the times they have been sick, to their journey through middle and high school. Lord, you have demonstrated your unconditional love, grace and mercy towards them. Lord, we praise and glorify you for having created them in your image and bestowed them with unique skills and talents. Lord, if we as parents love them as the apple of our eyes, how much more you, Abba Father, the creator, you love and care for them. Jesus, you are not a religion. You are not the mere leader of a particular group of people. You are the absolute truth, the only way and life. You want to have a personal relationship with each of them. Lord, you are standing and knocking at the door of the heart and waiting for each of them 
to invite you in so that you can partner with them in the path of life. Lord, as we send off our precious children in the world, during the years they will spend at college, there will be moments of joy and tears, moments of temptation, time where they will feel the strong pull of this world and many times give in. But whatever be the circumstances, we pray that they will fix their eyes on you, Jesus. They will follow you as their one and only shepherd. Lord, guide and protect them and give them wisdom as they make choices in the future. May they know that they are safe in the palm of your hands. Lord, we lift each of these students to you and may they feel your presence in their life and your embrace every single day. We pray and we ask all these things in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. Class of 2020, be the vessel of Jesus Christ. music. <laughs> we need music. <laughs> 